In this video, we will learn how to find a peak element or local maximum from an array without iterating over each element of the array. Hello and welcome to the Python implementation of Lead Code Problem 162, Find Peak Elements. The problem states a peak element is an element that is strictly greater than its neighbors given a zero indexed integer array nums, find a peak element and return its index. If the element contains multiple peaks, return the index of any of the peaks. You may imagine that the minus one element of nums is equal to the nth element of nums, which is equal to minus infinity. In other words, an element is always considered to be strictly greater than a neighbor that is outside of the array. You must write an algorithm that runs in O log n time. For example, example 1. Input nums is the array 1, 2, 3, 1. Output is the index 2. 3 is a peak element, and your function should return the index number 2. Example 2. Input nums is 1, 2, 1, 3, 5, 6, 4. Output is 5. Your function can return either index number 1, where the peak element is 2, or index number 5, where the pink element is 6. The constraints are the array will have between 1 and 1,000 values. Each value can be between minus 2 to the 31 and 2 to the 31 minus 1, which is a typical integer range. And no item will have the same value as its neighbor. What this is really asking is we have an array of numbers in a specific order, and we want to find any number where the two next are less. And we must do this in O log n time. This is a binary search problem. We can guess this because it works on a list or a range. It finds a target value, a minimum, or a maximum. It does not get split into subproblems, and it does not work well with greedy algorithms. If you're serious about async coding interviews, I've got something that will help. Sign up for the LeetKey newsletter and get weekly leak code problems, detailed solutions, and proven strategies delivered straight to your inbox. Now back to the video. You might be inclined to solve this problem by using a sliding window and iterating across the array to find the first element that is greater than the two beside it. But this approach loops over the whole array in the worst case and half the array on average. A more optimal approach is to use a binary search. Instead of searching for a static value as in a normal binary search, we compare each mid against its neighbor. At each step, we restrict the search to only the values that are greater than their neighbor. Therefore, when the search window shrinks to a single value, it will have found a solution. This solution scales logarithmically since the search space is cut in half at each turn, making the algorithm more efficient with more data. Let's see how to implement this solution. This solution works by thinking of the data as slopes or altitudes, then shrinking the search window around the data peaks. We start by defining the search range from the min value to the max. The search runs until there's only one item in the search window. At each iteration, we find the midpoint of the search window. We compare the midpoint against the value to the right, if the next value is lower, then the peak must be to the left side. Otherwise, the peak must be to the right. Eventually, the window closes on a local maximum, whose index we return for the solution. 
The space complexity for this implementation is static since we don't create any new data. The time complexity for this implementation is logarithmic since we cut the search space in half at each iteration. That was how to solve Leap Code Problem 162, Find Peak Elements. Thank you, Matei, for subscribing. Next week, we will be looking into Problem 875, Coco Eating Bananas. So subscribe and click the bell to get notified when that drops. Please share this video with any programmers or aspiring coders that you think would benefit from its insights. It's word of mouth referrals like yours that really help this channel grow. You can get this video a few days earlier, plus other exclusive content on our Patreon.